Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and in this video, I'm giving a quick introduction on how to thread a Juki machine. This video is for anyone new to Juki sewing machines or just new to sewing in general. I will be demonstrating this on a Juki DDL 8100E, but this should be pretty standard process for any Juki industrial machine. So the first thing we wanna do is put our thread spool over here on the cone holder. And then up here, you'll notice that there are these holes. We need to string our thread through these holes. Okay, so next I'm going to bring the thread through these two holes here. I'm just going to start through the top hole on my right side and bring it through and make it come across this little pole diagonally and bring it back through the hole that's on the right side and the string should come out through the left. From there, we're going to come to this next section and I'm going to start with the hole that is on the top going from right to left. And then I'm going to string this through the bottom hole going from left to right. Then I am going to bring it down to this next section here and just slide it behind this guard. And then after that, next I'm gonna take the thread and go between the two discs, starting on the right side and continuing clockwise. Keep winding the thread going past this black thing here. And then it should look something like this. Okay, so this is what the machine looks like so far. So after that, just gently tuck the string under the silver part here continue upwards on the machine and we're going to thread it through here thread it from right to left bring it down tuck it in between this guard it should look like this. You can go ahead and continue down on the machine and bring it through here. Once you have that done, you wanna string the thread through this hole here. Pull it through. And then you want to thread your needle going from right to left. The eye of your needle should be here on the side. Pull your thread through and then just pull it under the foot. Okay. The next part of threading your machine is the bobbin case. So I have the bobbin and the bobbin case. I'm gonna take the bobbin and I want my thread to be coming out of the spool to the left. I'm placing it inside the bobbin case like so. And I'm just gonna lift the thread up and I'm turning this around so you can see. All right, so on the bobbin case, there is a lever, this here, and it just pulls this little mechanism back right here. So you just wanna hold this lever, that's what locks the bobbin in place. If I don't hold the bobbin lever, then like this easily comes out. So you just wanna make sure that you hold this so that it's not coming out, okay? 
And like I said, I want my thread to be positioned like this. So make sure your thread, um, there's like this little slit here. Bring your thread through there and just like pull it around. I'm gonna do that one more time. Insert your bobbin into the bobbin case with the thread going to the left. Pull the string up until you get to the slit. Pull it through the slit and then pull it into this groove here and it should come to the front, okay? And this is what it should look like. Hold on to the lever like so. And then there is a compartment underneath where you can insert it and you'll just hear it click into place. A little difficult to film, but I tried to get a shot of what it looks like. Once you have the bobbin case inserted into the chamber, go ahead and hold on to the thread that is coming from the top of your machine. And then you're gonna wanna wind the machine with your hand using the machine wheel going towards you, right? I'm gonna use my knee to lift up the machine foot. I'm gonna rotate the machine wheel going towards me and then that's gonna move the needle down below the plate. That's gonna pick up the thread from the bobbin. And as I slowly lift, it should bring the bobbin thread up with it. So I'm going slowly until I see it. And voila, it came through. So once the bobbin thread comes up, you can just take your finger or a pair of scissors and just pull that towards you so that the thread comes to the surface, okay? So my top thread is blue, my bobbin thread is white. I just did that so that you can see clearly. And then I'm just gonna pull them under my machine foot and that's how you thread the machine. So there you have it, that's how you thread the machine. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.